I'm Sarah Schumann and I'm the secretary, technically, of Friends of the Lisbeck, but I also help out with communications, environmental awareness, social media, any, any work they need. So yeah, I've basically feel like I've dedicated my life to environmentalism um, with a specific drive for how people interact with the environment and safe green spaces for people to connect with. That's why the Lisbeck is such a important role and I feel like in a city like Cape Town and just how we can conserve green functioning ecosystems in general is what I'm all about. <laughs> I joined in 2018 as an intern. I was kind of just shadowing the current manager at the time and since then realized I wanted to stay involved in the Friends and stayed. Um, okay, as we know with finding the time to do more work and more effort outside of your social life and your working life, etc. is really hard. But when I found the Friends of Lisbeck, it felt like the perfect segue into um, giving, doing more um, than what I'm paid for and just to contribute to something bigger and so impactful. And it was super easy with them because they've been you know, tirelessly working along the river for so long and just on my doorstep and I didn't even know. And when I found out what they were doing and how I could get involved and how eager they were for any sort of help and support, it was, a really, it was really easy to stay on with them and I really believe what they're doing and it's never felt like work. Yeah, I mean, if you think of the Lisbeck River, it runs from Kirstenbosch all the way down to Arbs and that's just consistently through neighbourhoods and kids and people are constantly walking along the river, playing in the river, interacting with the river. So it's, I feel like the Friends of the Lisbeck have never struggled to get support or like hands on the ground on, in during these events. Um, so that's why we can organize an event a week before and there will be people engaged and people care about how the river looks and what they want from the river. So yeah, with this like useful injection into the committee, we've seen a lot more of these events and communication pieces and media pieces and really just getting the word out there that we've been here the whole time for like three decades um, and we, we need ongoing support. So the work that the Friends of the Lisbeck does to employ the maintenance team is completely dependent on donor funding, which is not secured every single year. This year, we haven't been able to increase the salaries um, of the team, which is obviously just not okay. I mean, people's livelihoods are dependent on the success of the Friends of the Lisbeck, and the Lisbeck River is dependent on the success of the Friends of the Lisbeck. The support we get um, physically is very peripheral from the city. so. Without donor funding and without support from people helping us on the river, the river can't function effectively and people relying on the river. So we have a Facebook page, LinkedIn, Instagram, website. We are always having events along the river. We have a monthly cleanup um, that happens in OBS and any sort of support would be so helpful to the river is 11 kilometers long and it's constantly facing challenges. The health of the city is directly reflected in its rivers and we need safe, clean, healthy urban waterways for a livable city. And we, we need all the support we can get, all the hands, any sort of do donations to, to keep that alive. The Friends of Lisbeck was a really great segue for me into my career. I finished my undergrad and then kind of started interning for them immediately. And it was an awesome entry point into just like being in or well, being exposed to what functional ecosystems in urban contexts look like, because I studied urban ecology as well. And just to see what people, the role people play in these ecosystems. And from there, you know, getting that understanding of ecology, I could move on to things like public speaking, where I found myself speaking in front of the mayor not too long ago with the Friends of Lisbeck, talking about the importance of biodiversity in cities. Um, I spoke to a group of school kids as well and a lot of opportunity to be effective about your environmental communication and awareness. I think that's a huge um, output from, from my time with the Friends. So the Friends of the Lisbeck showed me, or gave me huge exposure to um, what it takes for a river to be functional and the role people play in that. And I'm really grateful to have been able to see that, to understand that, contribute to that. Yeah, I just want to say Friends of the Lisbeck is I think the, I'm so inspired by their work and the consistency and ongoing work they've been doing and um, with so much passion. The committee is a completely volunteer base and every month we meet and we talk and we are all so invested and passionate and it makes me so hopeful for the future of the river and the future of nature in cities.